Today we are here in Brussels for an event in association with ASIA. The topic, from Auto Road, the mineral race to electric mobility. We have green targets that aren't really that far in the future, but is Europe really prepared for that shift? Particularly when it comes to electric vehicles, do we have the infrastructure, do we have the critical minerals in particular to get us to that point? Through a combination of panels and conversation today, we're going to explore the opportunity Europe has on an economic level, the policy we need to get there, and the education that's required of the general public to help us on the way. If we look at the transition we need to make to go for electric vehicles, for example, renewables, we need more minerals, we need to secure them to actually enable the energy transition. At the same time, we can't mine in the way we mined in the past. We have to do it differently, we have to do it less, we have to do it at higher standards and with people on board as well. So one of the most important things that we need to do is ramp up production in Europe of those minerals. Uh, that means that we need to have at least 10 more mines by 2030, at least uh, 15 more processing plants, at least 15 more recycling plants for all of those materials by 2030. If we don't achieve that, we will not meet the objectives of the Critical Raw Materials Act, and that would be a huge failure in terms of building our own strategic autonomy. So for a continent like Europe, where we have a lot of waste, recycling materials is critical. In our analysis, we actually show that by 2030, if we really capture the recycling opportunity, we can manufacture millions of electric vehicles with locally recycled materials. We have a huge problem in terms of the feed material. So if there is nothing to recycle, it's very difficult to have a business case for a battery recycling company. The feed will only be available to a large extent in 2035, when the first generation of end-of-life vehicles will be available. From there, we can then recover the batteries. But that's not the case yet today. If we do have black mass or battery scrap, we are seeing that loads of that material is actually leaving the borders of Europe and it's being processed in China or in Korea. So rather than retaining the critical metals in Europe and recycling them here, we are losing them. And that's because our legislation is not fit for purpose there. We should be able to close the borders so that we retain our critical metals and recycle them here. So if we put it quite simply, to ensure that things are done to high standards, it's important to have regulations. Laws ensure that companies do things right. So generally, going electric is already a good choice for the environment overall.